hey guys in this video i'm going to be using the african uh, rubber thread to stretch my hair we all know that african threading actually does stretch hair so this is what i'm going to do and i'm going to use a wig to actually cover my hair this means you can actually kill two birds with one stone stretch your hair and wear your wig I make sure the um, threading is done closely to each other in order to give my hair the maximum stretch that it needs and then once I'm done as you will see I'm going to gather the hair I'm going to pack it nice and flat so the wig actually fits on the thread and we all know African threading can be bulky You will need to do this in small sections actually so your hair is actually flexible enough to bend and then you'll be able to pack it so it's all nice and packed so i'm going to get my wig cap to cover my hair i really need a new one though so after that i'm going to get my wig right about now and fluff it so you're going to need a very curly wig so it actually hides um, the bulkiness of the wig if you use a flat wig or a straight wig it's actually going to make your head look really really big so for the benefit of those that haven't done African threading is a no heat method of stretching your hair and it gives you the blowout kind of well stretch I guess so I'm going to use my bobby pins to pin my hair. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for hair updates, tips and tricks from Siska Kings. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.